What's going on everyone? My name is Icosial, and I got a short one for you today. So let's jump right in and get all the quests available for the fallen gnomish city of Gnomergon. Nomragon is a dungeon that comes with many twists and turns which makes it easy to get lost in, and contains many difficult pulls with more mobs than you intend to deal with. Located on the west side of Dunmoro, Nomragon is a 5-man dungeon appropriate for players of levels 29 through 36. There's only a couple of quests available for Horde players, but there are also two more that can be found inside. So with that said, let's get started. To begin, you will want to head to the Valley of Honor in Orgrimmar and speak with the goblin named Nog. He will offer you the pinnacle quest of the instance called Rig Wars, and you are tasked to retrieve the Rig Blueprints and Thermoplug Safe Combination, which can be done when you reach the final boss of the instance. You will be rewarded with either cloth robes, leather leggings, or male leggings of rare quality. Once you accept Rig Wars, another quest will immediately become available from the Goblin Sovik, who is located just in front of Nog. He offers the quest Chief Engineer Scooty, and all that's needed is for you to speak with Scooty, who is in Booty Bay. When you get to Scooty, you will turn in the quest named after him, and receive the follow-up quest, No Mergon. All you have to do is begin the quest and wait for Scooty to build for you a Goblin Transponder. It takes about 10 seconds to complete, so once he's done you can complete the quest and collect your transponder. As long as you carry this item on you, you can step on the transpolyporter pad and be teleported both into and out of Nomergon. You should have only one quest in your quest log, so gather your group and use Scooty's transpolyporter pad to head inside. You're not going to find what you need for the Rig Wars quest anytime soon, so what you need to do is find the two quests available inside. The first one is called A Fine Mess, and it is available from a goblin named Kernobi in the dormitory which is located here just after the gnome occupied clean zone. Kernobi is in the room located on top at the far end on the right, and it is an easy escort quest because unlike most other escort quests, where they're in absolutely no rush to get anywhere, Kernobi will follow you at your pace. Just bring him to the beginning of the instance portal to complete it. You will be rewarded with either male bracers or cloth shoulders of uncommon quality when you return to Scooty after your dungeon run. Just before you get to Mechjanir Thermoplug, you will run into mobs called Dark Iron Agents, and one of them will drop for you an item which will begin a quest called Grime Encrusted Ring. You will need to find a way to remove the grime from the grime encrusted ring back in the gnome clean zone. Don't worry about going back now since you're so close to finishing the dungeon. But when you are done, go back to the clean zone and clear a path through the gnomes to get to a Sparklematic 5200. Complete the quest Grime Encrusted Ring, and you may think you're done, but click on the Sparklematic 5200 again, and you'll see another follow up quest called Return of the Ring. You can either keep this ring as is, or you can take it back to Nog, which you will be returning to anyway when you're done, and upgrade the ring to this rare quality Nog's Gold Ring. The one other quest available here is the Sparklematic 5200 itself. Any grime encrusted objects you have can be cleaned here, and while you can complete this quest as many times as you have items, you will only get XP the first time you use it this way. You can finally complete your quest Rig Wars when you reach the final boss Mechjanir Thermoplug here in Tinker's Court. Thermoplug really has only two things you need to watch out for. The first is a knockback that will greatly reduce threat on the tank, so everyone in the group needs to be aware of their threat generation. The second are the bombs that spawn from the towers surrounding the encounter zone. You will see a big red button on the base of the towers, so you will want to assign one ranged party member to click on the buttons of the corresponding tower that is flashing green electricity to prevent a bomb from spawning to blow up the party. Other than those two abilities, he is easy to manage, so when he is dead, make sure you pick up the safe combination from his corpse. 
then run to the very back of the room to loot his safe to find the rig blueprints that you need to complete Rig Wars. Now go back to the clean zone and take care of the grime encrusted ring and items that I mentioned earlier. This completes all your quests for Nomragon, so just exit the dungeon and hop on Scooty's Transpolyporter pad for a quick trip back to Booty Bay. I should mention that before you go back to Nog to turn in your quest, you will want to first pick up one silver bar and a moss agate gem. I assume you will already have 30 silver coins on you. This will reduce any needless back and forth you may have to do in order to secure those items to complete your quest. If you're not a miner, you can find them at the auction house. Thank you very much for watching this dungeon quest guide for the Horde. If you enjoyed this guide, please like and subscribe to be notified of new content I create for WoW Classic. You can also follow me on Twitter at Icosial Classic WoW, and you can click on the link provided below. For some of my other content, you can click on any of these links here. Thank you again for watching, and I'll leave you with another fun fact. Nomergon was supposed to be a city like all others, but Blizzard turned it into an instance because it would have created a faction imbalance.